I'm Ashley Elizabeth. I'm Enrique Melendez. And we are fashion the stylists. Stylist. Hey. I got started in fashion when I was in college. I interned for Diesel. I started in fashion when I was born out of the womb, but I really started professionally like six, seven years ago. I started interning and then I went into um, doing it on my own. My first big job was um, a Target commercial. It was for the Black Eyed Peas. They had like these custom made costumes. I did the more of the styling portion of it. That was my first time like on a set for that long. Like it was like a 22 hour shoot. My first big job that I handled on my own was when I worked uh, for the Jonas Group and they had a TV show called Cambio Connect and I was the key stylist on that. That power was definitely a um, the interesting video to shoot. We needed a lot of power because we <laughs> shot that video in three different continents. Spain, Japan, Los Angeles. So we were just traveling nonstop. We shot like two days straight here in Los Angeles and then we flew to Japan and found out that we had to dress 10 Japanese local dancers with no sizes and half a day to yeah. prep for that. You no, know, they're usually smaller in stature, so we were shopping at women's stores, men's stores, whatever we could find some fashion in, we were, we were shopping there. The hat for that power came about actually two years prior? Yeah, we showed Will a hat a couple years prior, and he was like, mm, I'm not wearing this, so we returned the hat. And then we were at the hat store for that power, looking for a hat that would be iconic and be- Still a, high fashion. Be high fashion and just make a statement. And there was that hat. Billboard Awards, it was Justin Bieber, Will I Am, and 30 dancers. Justin Bieber had a crew, Will I Am had a crew, and we had to come up with two cohesive looks in two days. I was in New York, she was in LA. I was working on another job. We had just flown back from London. I'm sitting on the computer telling him what stores to go to. I'm running through New York trying to get this done because we only had like a day because I was yeah. flying out the next morning. So I'm like, we have to utilize this day. So let's get everything I can in New York. You get everything you can in LA. So when I fly back to LA, we have at least 75% of the things that we needed. So yeah, that was a pretty crazy job. Scream and Shout has got to be my personal favorite because I felt like that's where we got to take the creative to where we wanted to take it. I think that was the first job Green where the, the stylist had a lot of the creative control. The creative process for Scream and Shout uh, started off with Will I Am wanting to have the video be very avant-garde, high fashion, but still urban. He wanted the video to be relatable. He wanted people to be able to look at the fashion and and want to bring that fashion home, but also be able to bring that fashion home. It was something that needed to be accessible and attainable. I am inspired by life, but I gotta say that I'm really inspired by French fashion. Can I look at my closet real quick? Every time we're hired on a job, the goal isn't necessarily to come up with an iconic look. It but yeah, but if being memorable, what you mean by being iconic, then yes, we always wanna make something memorable, something that lasts, something that is timeless, something that you can look back and be like, wow, that's crazy. Like, or, oh wow, that was beautiful. Or, oh wow, that was something I've never seen before. You know, then yeah, then that is something that we strive for. Because iconic can mean a whole bunch of different things, but not everyone's gonna love it. But the fact that you remember it and the fact that that image sticks in your head, because I'm sure 30, 40 years ago, people weren't looking at Grace Jones like, that's amazing, not everyone, people were like, that lady's weird. That lady's crazy. But you know what? She's put a stamp on that. And anyone who used that afterwards is copying Grace Jones. But she was killing it. She was killing it then and she's killing it now. I would like our global footprint on fashion to be that our work as stylists inspires other people. I think there isn't necessarily a roadmap to how to do this or how to do anything creative, be it makeup, be it hair. Be it, be it styling. And I hope that when people look back and when we look back, we are not only inspired again by our previous works, but that we inspire other people.